I'm Dr. Leslie Pritchett, the Chief Scientific Officer of BrainScope, and thank you for taking your time to watch this video. For your interest, each short video in this series focuses on a different aspect of BrainScope 1 technology. This video focuses on the Brain Function Index. Traumatic brain injury is complex and heterogeneous, and it includes many different etiologies. One way to think about TBI pathology is as a spectrum. All the way on the left, we have intracranial injury, or blood, and all the way on the right, mild concussions, or functional brain injury. This video is focused on that functional component, the brain function index. What is the standard of care today for assessment of concussion? It's based largely on subjective self-report of signs and symptoms and neurocognitive assessments. Early identification of concussion is of great importance and has been demonstrated to reduce short and long-term consequences and result in shorter recovery times. Publications report that greater than 25% of CT-positive head injured patients have standard assessment of concussion scores in the normal range. This suggests that reliance on symptom-based criteria could increase risk. There's a great need for objective means for acute evaluation of concussion. What happens to your brain with a mild head injury? Head injuries, even when mild, can result in brain injuries, including contusions, hematomas, subarachnoid hemorrhages, diffuse axonal injuries, and both TBI and concussion can include many of these different injuries. But only some of the injuries can be seen on a CT scan. Others, such as that which occur in functional brain injury, like MTBI or concussion, can only be seen with advanced neuroimaging tools, or EEG. EEG reflects changes in brain structure and function, which affect the electrical conductivity and connectivity of the brain. BrainScope's EEG biomarkers are uniquely sensitive to what happens to the brain with a head injury. To create the EEG-based biomarkers, BrainScope 1 algorithms leverage the revolution in technology, enhanced signal processing capabilities, and advanced machine learning algorithm methodologies. BrainScope 1's EEG-based brain function index is an objective biomarker of functional brain injury and addresses the question, does this patient have a functional component to their brain injury? The BFI is derived from EEG features which reflect the underlying processes associated with what is known about the physiology of concussion, including changes in EEG measures of connectivity, reflecting disruption in neuronal transmission between brain regions, complexity, reflecting disorganization of the neural networks, frequency distribution, reflecting decreases in oxygen flow and glucose metabolism. The BFI is a multivariate index that identifies a profile of brain function impairment, such as that seen in concussion. BrainScope 1's BFI provides an objective measure of brain function impairment, and in the absence of a gold standard for concussion, a normal population was used as a de facto gold standard. Brain function of the patient is compared to that of a non-injured population, age regressed and expressed as a percentile of the normal distribution from zero to 100. The percentiles are also expressed categorically based on the statistical significance of the deviation from the mean of the normal population. The three categories are seen here. A, which is within average range, B is below average, and C is clearly below average. These are pictured here as seen on the screen of the device, where on the top, we see a brain function index that's very high value in the black area, the average area, and this would be from a patient who has a normal BFI. And on the bottom, we see an example of a patient with a BFI in the yellow region, which is below average, and this would be an example of a patient with an abnormal brain function. An independent prospective FDA validation trial demonstrated a clear and significant relationship between the brain function index and severity of functional impairment measured by the number and severity of clinical symptoms present. And this was shown for both the percentile 
and for the categories. How to think about the BFI. The BFI is the functional injury component of the brain injury assessment. When it's below or clearly below average, less than or equal to a percentile of 10, there's a high probability of brain function impairment. When the BFI is in the average range, greater than the 10th percentile, it should be integrated with other assessment outcomes. As the BFI decreases, clinical functional impairment increases. The FDA validation study demonstrated a clear and significant relationship between the BFI and degree of clinical functional impairment. Studies report significantly higher incidence of concussion symptoms when the BFI is less than 50. Details of the derivation and validation of the brain function index are provided in Hanley and colleagues, 2018, the Journal of Neurotrauma. The BFI is an objective component in a multimodal evaluation. Multimodal assessment is critical to the clinical diagnosis of concussion. BrainScope 1's FDA cleared medical device is configurable to aid in multimodal assessment and includes the EEG based evaluation, including the structural injury component of the injury and the brain function impairment, two neurocognitive tests, and an extensive library of digitized clinical assessment tools. The time for an assessment will depend on how you configure it, can be as short as 10 minutes, as long as 30 minutes. All are summarized in one panel to aid in your clinical assessment of MTBI or concussion. The Brain Function Index can identify functional brain injury not visible on the CT scan. The BFI provides important objective information about the likelihood of brain function impairment. The BFI can't be gamed, and there are no learning effects. Therefore, it can be used for repeated assessments within the first three days. The BFI adds objectivity and confidence to the pattern seen across all assessments performed in arriving at your clinical diagnosis of concussion. This last slide is to remind you of BrainScope 1's core labeling elements for the assessment of the full spectrum of brain injury. BrainScope 1 is intended for use in head injured patients with Glasgow coma scales between 13 and 15, including concussion and MTBI, within three days after injury, and in patients ages 18 to 85 years. Thank you for your attention in watching this video, and I encourage you to look at other videos in this series.